Bonacera, and good evening everybody, man with a plan here. Welcome back everybody to the cold, cruel, whiteout world of the long dark. Whiteout world? I don't know why that came to me, I was just trying to think of other ways to describe the world, and it's very, very white. Very, very white, snow covered even. Welcome back everybody, thanks for coming to join me today, hope you're doing well, hope you're doing great. I'm doing pretty well myself, I'm loving this. However, actually, I'm not loving this. I'm picking up right after the end of the last episode, where we were exploring to find this hatch. The trapper's hatch. Oh, Jeremiah, you prankster. Decided to send us all the way over looking for this thing without telling me that we can't open it until the lights are in the sky. So we have a bit of a problem. I've already been around and we gathered loads of wood and all of this stuff to make plenty of fire here, which I actually need to do because um, I was thinking of trying to camp out here, maybe exploring the region a bit more, but um, we have a slight problem with that idea. I'm getting frostbite on my face and I don't want my face to become frostbitten. I also don't want my face to become wolf-bitten, which could also become a potential hazard. We're only at like 4%, so I might just be able to head back as we are. But uh, I'll grab a couple of these sticks and a piece of this wood, just to be sure. How am I doing for my weight? Not too bad, not too bad. We're all equipped for a little bit of an expedition anyway. I've got the food and all these things. We're looking pretty sharp, but we can't stay here. There's no way I'm going to be able to hang around here until the lights finally show themselves in the sky. There's loads of this region I haven't explored. I don't really know anything about the fall on Muskeg, but um, I do know that we're not going to be able to survive here. I do know that we're not going to be able to survive here. I don't know how often the lights show in the sky, though. That's a bit of a curiosity as well. Let's get a flare ready here for that wolfy guy. I don't know how often they actually appear. Um, I do need to go this way. I do need to go this way. Can I actually get down from up here by heading in this direction? That I also don't know. There's, there's lots of things I don't know. There's a lot of things that I am out of knowledge for, and it makes me very, very nervous and anxious. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the old trapper's cabin. Is this a campfire? Did I make a fire here? I, I don't remember making a fire here. There's a deer here, too. I don't remember killing a deer here. Okay, there's some meat on it. I'll freaking take that. And why not? I'll take the other piece of hide, too. Sweet! Bonus deer! Very nice! A bonus deer. Who would have thought it? So, yes, those are all very interesting questions. Um, oh, God, the wind's picking up and the sun's going down. This is going to end very badly for us very, very quickly. I'm going to try and get down here without busting a leg or an ankle. I don't have any painkillers. I think if we kind of crouch, we might be able to... Oh, God. Oh, God. That's actually quite a drop. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please don't break my bones. Please don't break my bones. We've done it! We've done it. We're okay. We're okay, everybody. Oh, God. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> With lots of ouches and scratches happening there, but we're fine. So I'm going to head back to Jeremiah's cabin. We've got a load of stuff that we could potentially do there in the ways of crafting and such things. Uh, I'm going to get some other bits done, have an explore around. There's loads of things I want to get into. But for the time being, we're going to have to bide our time until the lights fill the sky once more. It was only a few nights ago that there was lights in the sky. If you guys have any idea how often this actually happens, let me know down below. Until then, guys, I will see you very shortly. Ah, good to be back in the warm where my face can thaw out. Oh my god, my poor freaking face has been unbelievably hot. I believe we actually have... Wait, where did my cooking things go? Wait, what? So we're hanging out over by the lake again, down by this little uh, camp office where we were before, because me being an absolute genius, not only did I leave my bedroll at the trapper's cabin, I also left the cooking pots here, so I wouldn't have been able to make any food. So I've come back over here, planned to do a little bit of fishing, a little bit of uh, looking around, but the issue of not having painkillers is plaguing on my mind, so I want to have a little bit of a run around, see if I can find some rose hips. Uh, and I'll be able to make a painkiller out of those, just so, just in case we do bust an ankle, we're not going to be screwed and have to be hard pulling around. And I've never really looked down this little path. Maybe we'll find some around here. But I'm going to spend some time over here. Oh, wait, Lake Trail. No, I've not been here before. Ooh, I wonder where this goes. Maybe it's a way to bypass all the wolves. That would be amazing. So yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time hanging around this lake again, getting a, a little bit more food stockpiled if I can, and filling up on water. And really, we're just trying to pass time. We're just trying to pass time until the nights, uh, until the nights, until the lights appear in the sky again. And then we're going to beeline straight back to that amazing hatch and find out what's inside of it. 
Hmm, hello. Dave's Quiet Clearing. What is this place? Hello, Dave. Are you here, Dave? There's a lot of stones here. Dave's not here, man. What is this? Just like a tiny little cave place? Huh. Curious. Dave's not here, man. And welcome back, everybody. How you all doing? A couple of days have passed. A few days have passed, still no signs of the lights in the sky, sadly. But I've been doing some things. I've been taking care of some stuff. I moved house. I decided it's time we moved out of Jeremiah's cabin and came and lived over here in the camping office. Uh, the reasons being, it's such a great location. It's such a freaking great location. We're right here, so we're a little bit closer to the entrance to the Forlorn Muskeg. We're a little bit closer to... I keep thinking that zoom out, sorry. A little bit closer to our way to get out of this region in general, but we're also really, really close to the ice fishing lake where I can get fish and all the food I could ever want. Now, I've been having a little bit of a breed through the menus and things, and I have been an idiot. I have been an absolute idiot. I am very, very sorry, everybody. When we discovered that corpse, it marked this location, but that is not where the hatch is. If we head into here and hit the side quest and we check out Hank's hatch, search the forestry lookout for Hank's lockbox. That would be why we found a lockbox key. This makes a lot more sense, so I'm going to go over and check that out while we're waiting for the lights to appear. But some other things have happened. One, two, three, four, five. Five cured deer hide. One, two, three, four rabbit pelt. Um, where did I? Ah, yes, I put the cured gut into here. I have a huge amount of this too. That should be enough, I think. Let's make some stuff. Oh my god, I've been so excited to make this stuff. So we can make, remake our mittens, which is going to be great. Five hours. Oh, balls. Oh, balls. Um, I have some more food outside, but you know what? Let's try and go for it. Let's do the three hours of it. Yeah, we'll lose a bit of condition, but that'll be totally fine. We'll get it back in the morning. Let's get the other two hours on it. Let's get it done. Oh, wow, this tires you out. Yikes. Okay, looks like we'll make that adventure in the morning when I finish crafting all these things. We did it. We did it. We got ourselves the rabbit skin mitts. Yari, I've been after getting those back for a long time. Wow, that takes a lot of time out of you. That takes a lot of time out of you. How are we doing for our food? Oopsie. Wrong button. Yeah, you know what? It's totally fine. I want to get it done. How long is it going to take me to make some amazing boots? Twelve and a half hours for each of those. Oh my dear goodness gravy. I need anything right about now. Oh, you know what? You hear that? You hear that terrible storm outside? Yeah, we're not going to go on our expedition today. Instead, I'm going to grab... Well, I'll grab the food before I go to bed. I'm going to starve myself making these amazing things. And we've done it. And we have done it. Uh, it took two days. All I can think about is... Maybe three food. days. Inside this cabin. Just crafting stuff, but we have done it. We have actually freaking done it. We ran out of a sewing kit at one point, but that's fine. I've got, like eight here, I think, in total, which is absolutely great, but check it out, guys. We've actually freaking got it. I've never got these things before. Ooh, that's very good. Oh, and they're lighter, too. I'm gonna be able to run more. Yes, equip them, please. Thank you. Um, let's have a look. It's gonna be warmer, more windproof, more water protection, more defense, more of everything. Everything is so much better. Is that the outer layer? Yeah, it is. And finally, of course, as well, let's just put back on our bunny skin mittens. Oh, super amazing. Absolutely awesome. I'm really, really happy about that. I'm gonna have to tear down the rest of the f materials uh, just to get the cloth from them. We are all out of deer skin now, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, let me put the rest of this stuff back and let's go ahead and head out. Now, admittedly, the lights did come on one of the nights while I was uh, just crafting things, but I wanted to get them made because I had the materials to do it. So, nevertheless, they will appear again, and uh, we're going to go and check this thing out today, so it's not going to be a super huge disaster anyway. Uh, have we got everything? I need a freaking hat, guys! I need a hat so badly! It's absolutely ridiculous how much I need a hat. Uh, let me just lighten off everything, get everything ready to rock and roll, and I'll bring you guys back when we're on our way out the door. All right, good. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's grab just one more fish. Smallmouth bass, that's actually got quite a lot of calories. How about the whitefish? 
500, that'll do just great. I'm carrying another one that's like a thousand freaking calories on me at the moment. I know we are hungry, but I'm trying to stockpile food, so we're gonna starve pretty much through the day. We lose a tiny bit of condition, but not really enough that's worthwhile. I'd rather keep the food until the night, stockpile as much as I can, regenerate my condition, and then resume. There's actually a dead wolf just over there. He attacked me on my second trip back to the trapper's cabin. Um, and I defended my shelf, and on my third trip to the cap trapper's cabin, I found him dead on my way home. So it looks like I defended myself fairly well. That is where we are heading. That little lookout tower on the top of there, because apparently there's a freaking lockbox I have to find before I can actually find a hatch, which is what was confusing the balls out to me before. So I'm going to make my way over there very, very carefully. I have like a couple of flares, nothing really much. Um, we're actually still kind of heavy just from the food, I think. Probably don't need to carry this much with us, but we're gonna be fine, we're gonna be fine. I wanna find out what this is all about while we await the lights returning. This is nice, I'm starting to get to know this area really quite well. I'm gonna grab this stuff because I don't actually have much antiseptic anymore. And uh, this will do very, very handy for us. As we're running out of all the supplies that we have looted, we are turning more and more to actually harvesting materials in the world, uh, such as the rose hips, which I have still yet to make into painkiller, which I am now drastically regretting. I'll grab a couple of stick along my way up here, just in case we need to warm up, because we still don't have a hat, and I'm still at huge, huge risk of frostbite on my face. My god, I hope there's a freaking hat up here. That would be incredible. Right, sometimes there's a wolf hanging out around here. Want to be a little bit mindful coming up here. Yeah, there he is. Look, straight away he's on me. You're going to have to go, buddy, because you're too close to me. Get out of it. Get. Yeah, that's it. You get out of it. This flare will keep you safe for a while. Okay, round this bend and up the hill we go. Ah, oh, such a waste of a flare. I really hate it when uh, they get the jump on you like that, but there's not really much you can do. We can see the little fire from here where we found the note telling us about this little side quest. Let me continue my way up here. Hello. What is that I've dropped on the floor? Is it terrible condition coffee? Actually, it's pretty good condition coffee. Why did I throw away coffee? I love it. Backtracking on my steps, I'm finding all the things I didn't need, and actually, I need them now. We're going to need lots of coffee for when we have the nights here. Here we are. All right. Now, what is the deal with this place? and finding a lockbox. Let's have a little bit of a scout around here. I'm guessing it's going to be up in the tower. Yeah, it must be. Let's head our way up here. I can't even remember what was in this place. It's been so long. Oh, I remember. Oh, I dropped things here. Oh, too low of a condition. Most of this stuff's gone bad. Oh my god, painkillers. Yes, I'm taking them. I don't care if they're bad quality. How about that energy bar? Nah, not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. The antibiotics will be fine, though. Yeah, they'll be great. Got some firewood here. That's super sweet. Oh, just in time. Freaking weather's gone terrible. Oh, look, there's some extra boots here. I'm going to take them to break the leather down. Some more matches. A bar of soap, that looks like. That's a first aid box. Wool socks, hell yeah. Now, what is that? Thermal that underwear. I'll take it for destroying it. That must be the lockbox there. There it is, open lockbox. Uh, search it. That would help. Hank's prepper cash note. Hatch code. Ooh, there's a hatch code. That yep. guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. Oh, well, we're taking Shit. it. Looks like and a single rifle a bit bullet. Stir crazy out here. Hank's journal, I part one. I the tower all day with nothing but a radio for company. Oh, amazing. Let's see what it says. I've spent a lot of years in this damn lookout tower watching the forest around Mystery Lake, and it's given me nothing but time to think about my life and the world around me and what I hear is happening. Sitting in a tower like this for days, weeks, months on end is enough to drive someone crazy. Even if I didn't have anyone to talk to on the radio, 
And just let me say, I wish that chatty lady would shut up once in a while. I mean, I came out here to be alone, to be away from other people. It's almost enough to make you wish all of the radios, all the satellites, all the phones and internet and stuff would just disappear. Anyway, I've been putting aside some supplies every season, leftovers or whatever I can spare. And it's added up to quite a little stash of food and equipment. Hopefully I never need it, but if I do, the ends justify the means, right? I don't think anyone need that weird old bunker thing I found. And it makes a perfect place to hide out in case... Hide out if the... Hits the fan? Yeah. You know what I mean. I'll take it. Oh, we're saving. We've got a journal update. Now, now I think it's going to tell me where I need to go to find this place. Let's have a little look. There's the logging camp. Hello. Hank's Hatch. Haha! -ha! Amazing. We need to visit the logging camp as well, but uh, sadly, I'm not going to be going out in this abomination. Actually, yes, I am, because it's really not that bad, and um, we're, we're burning daylight, people. We're burning daylight. I want to get this stuff done. Uh, I'm going to try and carry this. There's no point in me leaving all of this tasty firewood here. How's my weight? Totally fine. Totally fine. How's my condition? Totally fine. See, we can starve for days and days and days. All right, beautiful. So off to the logging camp we go. Ah, balls. I went and jinxed it, didn't I? By saying that I should have made those rose hips. We twisted our ankle and our wrist. We only have two painkillers. We're going to have to do the ankle so we can actually move around. Okay, that's taking care of the ankle. Our wrist is still damaged, but that will heal, heal over time. Will heal over time? Stupid hills. Will heal over time. Let us get over to where we're trying to get. Alright, here we are. That was really, really lucky we found those painkillers. I would have been in really bad trouble if I had sprained my ankle without those things. Uh, we're getting really quite thirsty. I don't have a lot of water on me, but we're going to finish this bit up. We can get some more cooked up quite easily, but not in this wind. I think it's this trailer that we can't go in. Wait, let me check the other one. Did I leave a hat in one of these? Oh, my ears are so cold. My kingdom for a freaking hat. Let's find out what's in here. Oh, we're unlocking it. Oh, we're opening it. New location, trailer. Yes, we finally made our way into this one. Maybe there's a hat in here. What is this? A Kawachan sweater? Could end up being useful. I think we've already got one of these, don't we? I feel like we do. What else are we going to find here? Medical kit. Painkillers. Disinfectant. Bandage. Ah, oh, painkillers would have been amazing. I could have fixed my wrist. What's in this one? Some more accelerant, some more matches, piece of cloth, very good, all good things. A little book there, I'll use that to start my fire to make some water in a moment. A Hope nobody needs bedroll. this anymore. Oh, that's a helpful find. Hello, other storm lantern, that's useful as well. So far, good things. Scrap metal, I'll take it, I'll take it. A little bit of cloth, I'll take that too. Come on, a hat, anybody. Some tools, very nice, anything else down here? No, anything else under the bed? No, okay. Alrighty. Some soup. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. No. No, you cannot. We must take everything in the world and keep it with us at all times. It has to be done. Some soda. Man, I haven't found a can of soda in a long time. Forest talker supplies. That's the one we've got to gather. Climbing socks. Some more boots. More gl- I thought that was a hat then. I was going to scream. I think I can use Bad this. shirt. Some water. Excellent. Uh, nope, nope. We're okay. We're okay for the time being. We're okay for the time being. Come on, Took. Just Energy out of this stuff. Nuts. 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 That's a huge pain. Dang it. I was really hoping for a hat. How are we doing for daylight? About halfway through the day, we are very, very heavy, though. We're going to have to leave some stuff here. Uh, let's drop you and you... Okay, pretty much just dropped everything that we just found here, uh, which is fine. We can return and pick it up a little bit later. Let's grab these forest talker supplies. Doesn't weigh anything. That's awesome. We'll be able to take that back to the guy in a moment. But now, let's find Hank's hatch. There's got to be a hat in there, surely. Okay, so we're here. So if we head towards the train loading bay, but then hang a left into the trees next to the mountain, we should be able to find it quite well. 
Yeah, we're not doing too bad. We're a little bit tired. I've got enough food to be able to get us to sleep. That's not a problem. With that bit of water, we'll get us there too. That's awesome. So yeah, let us make our way over. Uh, it'll be about this way. Okay, here we are. Yeah, this is where it leads me back to the uh, railroad. So I want to be heading that way. Over in a this kind of direction. Ish. There was a wolf over there, so I've got my last flare out, and I'm hoping he doesn't come and pester us, because I only have one flare left. And I really don't want to be wasting it. I wonder where this would be. It's got to be over in this direction somewhere. We actually did have a look around this area when we were looking for the bear. And I didn't I remember seeing anything hatch-like. Oh my dear goodness, that made me jump out of my skin. I just got a badge. What is that? I don't even know what a badge is. We're going to have to investigate that a little bit. That's pretty cool. I feel like it means we have accomplished something in the world of the Long Dark. Alrighty, let's continue to have a search around here. I feel like it's going to be behind this rock. I'm hoping it is, and it's not a freaking bear in this direction. That would be terrible. I'm pretty sure... Ah ha ha! Yeah, it does. This does put it around the right place on the map. I think we found it. I think we freaking found it. Some more crow feathers and a dead guy. Hey, dead guy. What have we here? Antibiotics, antiseptics, still no painkillers. Oh, it's such a huge torture. All right, let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh, we're going to have to enter the code. I don't remember it off the top of my head. Uh, we should be able to find it in here. Hanks hatch and use the code to gain entry. 451832. 451832. Ah, here it is. Oh, man, it's going to be this. 32. Admittedly, I could have hacked it. Let's open it. Oh my god, we've done it! Our very first bunker! Finally made it. Ooh, our very first prepper cache. Oh my god, I'm so interested and excited. What are we going to find in here? Please tell me there's a hat in here. Please? I would be so happy to find a hat in here. Do I have any more lantern fuel? Let's turn it on. So we can see beautifully the amazingness that is the very first bunker I have ever been in. Let's have a look here. We've got some quality That'll tools. Very handy. good. More lantern fuel. Also good. What's inside of the container? A fishing tackle and some line and some cloth. Very nice. Very nice. We can make tinder out of that. Don't really mind about tinder. We can make firewood out of that. Beautiful. Oh, there's a dead guy. Oh, uh, is this Hank? Can I take your hat, please? I feel like you won't need it anymore. This stuff will come there. Very good. What is that in your hand? Is that like a scarf or something? Oh wait, there's a note. Hank's Journal Part 2. Oh no. Things I have not turned out the way... Sorry, things have not turned out the way that I hope. I guess that's why I, they say hope is not a plan. I was on my way to drop some supplies off in the bunker, but wolves hunted me the whole way here and I couldn't escape them. One managed to take a chunk out of my leg just before I could get in here and slam the hatch door. It feels like I'm on fire. I think it's infected. Now I hear something like scratching on the hatch door. I'm afraid to open up. Angela, I pray to God, I pray to God it isn't you or your mother, but it can't be. It's just too soon. I'm just take, going to hold out down here for a bit and then I will check when it's daylight again. Just have to find a way to keep track of the time down here. I feel like he lost track of time. Oh, poor Hank. Poor Hank. We got a book. Another lantern. Man, there's loads of lanterns around. This is great. What do we got around here? Hope nobody needs this. Matches. Anymore. Stack of papers. I'm not seeing any fantastic loot yet. Please have a hat. Somewhere. Oh, my kingdom. Oh, my dear God. There is so much food here. There is so much food here, it is insane. I could use this. Flare, very nice. Oh, we're not going hungry for a long time, guys. 
we are not going hungry for a long time. I think we found the cache of food that we're going to need to take with us when we make our way through this area, through the hydro dam, and into the next region, whatever region that may be. Another sewing kit. I have lots of sewing kits. Metal pail, bit of cloth. Okay, that's actually pretty sweet. Let's have a look in the locker. Hat. This will come in handy. Boots. Flame. Oh, baby, yes. Flare shells are freaking incredibly valuable. Another rifle repair kit. That's good. Extra matches. Also good. Everything's good. Everything is good. Painkillers! Six of them! Yes! And a few bandages. Everything is good in my life right now. This is amazing. I love it. And we've already, oh, we haven't searched the trunk. What's in the trunk? What are we here? <gasps> yes, the frostbite of my face is over. And some decent wool long johns. They look good. A new hoodie. Very nice. Oh baby, yes. This is awesome. This is super awesome. I am absolutely loving this. Oh my god, the food. Oh my dear lord, the food. Am I ever going to be able to carry all of this food out of here? I feel like I'm probably not. I'm already gear. too heavy, so I'm going to have to double check some equipment and get some stuff ready to rock and roll, and then I will uh, head out of here, and we'll head back to our home, carrying as much stuff from here as we possibly can, and uh, head back to that forest talker dude who's inside the house, and see how he's feeling about everything. Okay, let me get everything tidied up. I hate trying to cross this lake when it gets really foggy. It really makes me anxious. I know there's a good few, like three, maybe four wolves who like to hang around here, and it makes me very anxious trying to travel across it when it is so freaking foggy. That's my favorite little fishing house that's stocked with firewood. I want to take all that firewood home with me this evening so that I can cook up all of the fish that I'm going to find on my way back from here. But I want to find out what this forest talker has done. I feel really good today. We got a lot of things done while we're waiting for the uh, northern lights to appear in the sky so that we can open Jeremiah's hatch. And that is actually the last thing for us to do in this region. Um, we have to wait for the lights to open his hatch, and then we have to wait for the lights again to pass through... Hydro Dam? Yeah, the Hydro Dam. We have to wait for the northern lights to be in the sky for that too. And we have to be quick about that, because he did say there's a chance we can get trapped in there if we don't get through it before the sun rises, so we need to be super careful about that. Definitely sounds like something we're not going to be making a return from. Uh, that is not the cabin, that's the lonely one. I want the one that's over there, past all the freaking terrifying wolves that love to eat my face. I have an abundance of flares though now, so I don't mind using a few if I have to. Um, I think I'm carrying two on me. Trying to travel as light as I can because I'm going to use some fishing on the way home. But yeah, we're definitely going to attract these guys' attention. Go away! It always makes me anxious when I throw it, though, because they've came at me before. Alright. Did you find our stuff yet? The supplies and the documents. I need both. Uh-oh. There was documents. I'm working on it. There was freaking documents! I forgot about the dang documents! Ah, oh, what a pain in the butt. I'm gonna have to go back. Ah, that would be why. I was thinking we were at the logging camp and I looted that place. I didn't see anything. That's why. We have to head back to the Carter Dam and find something over there. What did that say? What was it? Retrieve the documents hidden under a loose tile at the bottom of the stairs leading to the admin area. Oh, that's going to be a bit more interesting to track down. I don't know anything about the Carter Dam. That's super awesome. All right, well, what I'm going to do there, guys, is I'm going to save that one for the beginning of the next episode. So we've got something else we can work on while we still await for the lights to fill the sky. I think that'll be a good idea, giving something else to work on. In the meantime, I'm going to be taking care of lots of fishing. And I'm going to be mostly getting things ready to move region because I feel like we're not going to be coming back here at all if we have to wait for the lights to be in the sky. That's definitely going to prove to be a problem. I've got a little bit of food, but not a lot left here. But it's going to be great. I'm really enjoying the playthrough. We got a fair bit done today. I'm having a great time continuing this play. Thank you guys for the support on the season so far. It really does mean the world to me. I'm having a great time playing it. I can't wait to get through it and uh, try our hand at some of the survival things as well. I feel like that's going to be absolutely great and a lot harder than the storyline mode for sure. If you guys are enjoying it as well, do me a huge, huge favor. Hit the like button for me. Oh, 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 oh. Super pumped. 
Then, of course, if you're really enjoying it and you don't want to miss out, hit the subscribe button so you're not going to miss any episodes that are coming to the channel in the next few days. Beautiful times. But in the meantime, people, I will leave you with the cold, the hunger, the fog, and the sadness. Take care, everybody. All the best. And I can't wait to see you all again soon.